And back to the roads, voting for the CAA's annual Worst Roads campaign, that is now open. It opened a few days ago. Each year, CAA asks drivers, cyclists, transit riders, and pedestrians to vote on which roads need the most improvement. And in past years, people have had a lot to say. To tell us more about the initiative is Teresa DeFelice, Assistant Vice President for Government and Community Relations at CAA. Good morning to you, and thanks so much for joining us live in studio. Oh, my pleasure. So you and I chatted about this just a few days ago when yeah. voting had just begun. How's it going now? Well, we're getting lots of votes in. People have a lot to say. We're not surprised. This campaign gets attention every year. Um, you know, people have want a place to talk about their story, about the road conditions. As, instead of just talking to family and friends, they want their voices heard. Totally. And every year this campaign garners so much interest. And that feedback is so valuable. Can you talk about the changes it often leads to? Oh, sure. We've seen roads move up on lists. It's, you know, especially, uh, you know, some roads are not slated to be fixed for five six years. Um, but we've seen politicians react to the, the, you know, being on the worst roads list. It's not a great list yeah. to be on. Um, but it's actually highlighting a pain point to people in their communities. And so we're pleased that governments are responding and fixing the roads faster than they anticipated. We've had uh, politicians tell us they didn't know a, a particular road was a pain point. Because um, people can vote whether it's poor road surface, congestion, bad signage, yep. timing of lights, all kinds of things. Right. Potholes, all of that fun yes. stuff. Not so fun. Um, what, uh, what do the politicians tell you about that feedback and, and, and how it shapes their communities? Well, you know, there are a lot of roads that are in need of repair. Uh, municipalities have about 140,000 kilometers of roadway in their purview. So, you know, the tax revenue only grows so fast. And so one of the things they're saying is always, you know, looking for senior level funding to help pay mm -hmm. for fixing not just new roads or starting new roads, but really getting into that backlog, whether it be because of sewer mains underneath um, or like we've talked about our winters and, and yep. creating those potholes. And Teresa, the CAA has been talking to drivers all over. You, you conducted a survey recently mm -hmm. and, and people have a lot to say. Talk about their concerns when it comes to road safety uh, on a whole. Yeah, so our survey that we do every year with respect to this issue, you know, people are concerned about the state of the roadway, uh, state, state of the roads. 84% are, are expressing concerns. I think what was startling in this survey was safety, right? 64% of people are, um, you know, swerving to avoid a pothole. Th you know, a number of people are avoiding roads altogether that they know are bad. And that's because in this survey, 42% of people had experienced damage to their vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, and when we asked how much they're spending, they're spending $852 on average. So it's, it's already, you know, one thing it's costing them in their tax dollars when they're paying their property taxes, but then it's also, you know, hitting their pocketbook uh, in the wear and tear on their vehicles. For sure. And you also want to hear from not just drivers, you want to hear from pedestrians, cyclists, right. uh, commuters. Tell me more about that. Yeah, this, this program is open to everybody, no matter how you get around you know, two wheels, on your feet, tr a bus, um, you know, roads impact everybody and, and everyone's going to be on a road for one reason or, or another, walking on the sidewalk. The three, the third most common reason people are taking to this campaign um, is because of poor cycling and pedestrian infrastructure. You know, there are some communities in Ontario where they don't have sidewalks mm. and people do want to get out and walk around. So we encourage people to vote until April 19th at caaworstroads.com. And very quickly, what happens when the results are in? What does what does your organization do with those results? Yeah, we work with some great partners uh, from the Residential Civil and Construction Alliance of Ontario. We validate what we what we're seeing on the list, what the reasons are those roads are, have been chosen for. We will release the list later in May. But then CAA also advocates with government on the roads that show up on the list and are trying to get those roads fixed faster for the people who take to the campaign. Okay, Teresa DeFelice with CAA. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate you My talking pleasure. about this.